Overspending is something poor people do. Welcome to British Rationals in the week when... Brexit activist Shamir Sani has told Channel 4 News that the Vote Leave campaign broke the law during the EU referendum by exceeding legal spending limits. Who is this whistleblower fella? And how come he's got the scoop on so many stories? Hey, I bet he's great fun at parties. Brexit means Brexit. Unless it was an illegitimate campaign, in which case Brexit might not mean Brexit. All that cash to leave the world's largest imaginary clubhouse. The permanently leave most clubs, you just have to get too drunk and the sink. Farage missed a trick there. Overspending is something poor people do. In finance, if we break the rules, then we just get a bailout. 695,000. This could have been spent on public art. And then Jeremy Corbyn could have told people not to paint over it. If you're going to fiddle your expenses, don't do it here. Do it from an empty office in Luxembourg. Mind you, that's not very Brexit. On Sunday, adult film star Stormy Daniels gave a tell-all interview to 60 Minutes, describing her encounters with Donald Trump. I like how that Stormy Daniels comes across. She's a porn star with nothing to lose. That's how I like to live my life. The only thing more fake than the illusion of an honest president. A porn star's orgasm. Well, she's obviously well paid to have sex. Good on him for deferring the payment without interest. I had sex with a porn star once. Well, she became a porn star after the video did the rounds in the office. There is something exquisitely beautiful about a powerful white man being flagellated with a picture of his own face. Exquisitely beautiful? Certainly. You know he was half naked, right? Trump. Making America for late again. This week, the government proposed a new scheme in England in which shoppers will pay a deposit on single-use plastic bottles in a bid to boost recycling. Do you know how much money is going to be wasted on this f***ing scheme? Just so a f***ing dolphin won't choke on a f***ing bottle cap. David Attenborough. I've worked out a system. Get them in now when they're free, and then sell them after. Quids in. This is going to make the centre of my installation plastic po poise for peace way more expensive. It's all a trick. The government just want to harvest all your bottles and cans to add to the national DNA database. Maybe now people will finally wise up and realise that the Conservatives truly are the Green Party. Not that we're the Green Party, we're definitely not the... We're, we're greener as a part... We're greenest, I would say. Would you say you're greener than the Greens? Um... The Conservatives have been recycling their policy since the war. The Australian cricket team received a shock this week after being caught tampering with the ball using sandpaper. The global elite are shocked that one of their own would try and rig a fair game. <sniffs> Hypocrites. Warren has always been a <laughs> Bolshy, aggressive, entitled, and now underhanded. Yeah, he should seek a career in finance. Hmm. I don't want to use a lazy stereotype such as convicts, but if the baggy green cap fits... I always carry a bit of sandpaper. You never know when you're going to get caught short. I do not care about cheating at sport because it is not out. Even Maradona. It's a total balls up for the Aussies. It's just not cricket. Who writes this sh**? Did you write this? Is this your right, you come here, you come here, and you deliver the line. Unbelievable. Join us next Friday for more British Rationals and follow us everywhere at Brit Rationals.